Notes behind the scene interview, take one. Great, it's been awesome. Our cast and our crew and everybody involved has been uh, it's been really game and, and done an amazing job. And it's my first real production like this, so it's been a huge learning experience, but uh, it's been really great. I mean, I would probably, I, I started writing it um, probably a year and a half ago. I mean, it's all about high school. So, um, you know, I, I'm not gonna say that most of the things in the show are not directly from my own high school experience, but a lot of them are. You know, obviously the high school experience is really popular, a lot of people portray it, but uh, I often felt that those portrayals um, didn't quite hit that um, level of realism that I think the, the topic deserves. I, I mean, I'd wanted to kind of do something like this for a really long time. So I, I wrote a, a pilot and um, that was all about um, Nick Mesner, David's character, kind of the main guy. Now here we are. You know, it'd be great to do more, um, but at this point, I'm completely focused on the first season. Yeah, there's just so much work involved. It's it's uh, It's been awesome, and as long as people are up for it, I'm happy to do more. All of the narratives that are going on in the first season, at the level of complexity um, narratively that we're looking at, I'm all of my attention is on making sure that we do those narratives justice and that we wrap them up in a satisfying way. I am a huge fan of My So-Called Life and of uh, Freaks and Geeks um, are both really excellent shows about the teenage experience that I often aspire for us to, uh, you know, to reach that level of authenticity. Um, I love the British show Skins. It really, in some ways, inspired somewhat the structure of the show, the way that it, it really um, commits to the point of view of a specific character each episode and um, immerses you in them. The relationship between the plot lines and the play that they're doing um, was largely inspired by a Canadian show called Slings and Arrows that's really great, um, where each season's about a, Shakes a different Shakespearean play, and the actors and the crew who do that play, how their lives mirror and inter interact with the play that they're putting on itself. Ultimately, the thing that I kind of got out of this is just, you know, you have to just do it. Yeah, I mean, you definitely, each shoot's gonna be a challenge. You have to be on your toes. Something will come up that you don't expect. You have to compromise. That's how you get things done, is by just saying, all right, I'm gonna roll with this, and I'm gonna figure out the best thing that we can do, and if that means making some changes or alterations, that's, that's what you should do. Experience is, is probably the most valuable thing, and the only way that you can get that is at some point saying, I'm willing to try and maybe fail, but I'll give it a shot. Why the title, you mean? Yeah. Oh, um, I think the biggest thing that I drew from it, from my own high school experience of doing theater, is after every rehearsal, our director would set the cast down and he, we would have notes. Essentially, when we got note, these notes at the end of the rehearsal, they were essentially advice on how to properly pretend to be this person that we were pretending to be. And I felt like ultimately that's what all of high school is. I'm rolling, go. Episode four, you know, sorry, do you have any idea what I'm going to ask you to do? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Stand by.